remember as a child, a gypsy used to come and park up on the heath down the road from us and uh, he used to make stuff out of tin, he was a tinker. And uh, I suppose that must have inspired a sense of romance of the idea of travelling. And uh, I went off with the circus when I was 16 and I travelled with them for years and I just started as a labourer and worked my way up and then ended up doing a trapeze act. The circus was a real routine. It was a bit like being in, being in the army, really. It's you know, it's full on. You're, you're at work all the time. You don't get a day off for nine months of the year or something. But when I left the circus, I think that's where I found my sense of freedom. I, I started making gypsy caravans 12 or 13 years ago, and after I made my first one, I went to see my grandfather, who was on his deathbed. And I showed him a photograph of the uh, caravan I just built and that I was living in at the time. And he looked at it and he said to me, uh, he said, oh, I used, to, I used to travel in one of those when I was a boy. There was a trend in the uh, early last century for holiday making in horse-drawn vehicles. It's basically it's a home on wheels, but obviously there's a lot more charm in it because, because it's all ha handcrafted and, and cosy and you, know, you have the fire in it. And, and then after I built the first one, someone asked me to build them one and, and it sort of snowballed from there. Okay. Both Katoosh and I, and in fact probably Maddog now, we seem, we seem to have a sort of inherent need for a sense of freedom and, and that's probably what brings us together. I grew up in Wales with lots of horses. As a child, I always just went off wandering. I'd wander for hours and my parents just got used to it. The horse is the king of the road. The horse always has right of way over all traffic. And um, not all road users are aware of that. We've been trundling along the roads around Cumbria for some time now with our horses, Charlie and Bob, stopping and camping up on verges or in nice places. We rarely stop for long before we're trundling on. What you have a need for is slowness. You feel like you're a reminder of those lost days. Marug is our, our little boy who is nearly two. He loves being at the front of the wagon and he loves holding onto the reins. He's really lucky actually because so many kids just spend most of their time indoors with screens and computers and toys that guide them on how they're going to communicate with the world. Everything in the, in the modern world seems to be sort of kicking back against nature, trying to control it and straighten it and sterilise it. And for me, that's just, that's just not the way I want to be. You suddenly realise you don't need all these things that you get accustomed to thinking that you need. All these sort of mod cons, and I think mod cons is probably exactly what they are. They're just a con, really. You get conned into thinking that you need all these things all the time. But uh, for me, I'd rather sacrifice uh, some of those comforts and luxuries than, uh, than sacrificing my time and my life to, uh, to the stresses of the modern world. When you're on the road with the horses, you're, you're sort of shrouded in safety because you have got all your basic things looked after, yet you can go on exploring new places. For years, I thought, I'm not going to have kids unless I can let them grow up with the same kind of freedom that I had. He's going to grow up seeing how raw things can be. He sees the blood and guts of everything. He's going to see death, and he's going to have danger. With all this basic awareness of nature, he's going to be able to understand the world and make what he wants of it. Even if he wants to be a Formula One driver or a tractor driver, he loves tractors. I think it's, it's great for me to think that my son is going to be just so capable. People come now to us for, from all walks of life, from different countries. We've had Norwegians, people from Taiwan, we've had lawyers staying with us, people out the city, people who have never camped in their lives and never lit a fire in their lives. Having people coming and staying has really helped me reappreciate what it is that we do and how lucky we are to have the life that we live. And living, living life in the ways of days gone by and appreciating life for what it is, for what we've got, and for what we're lucky enough to have the freedom to, to do.